We are currently in the largest hate wave that the Minecraft community has ever witnessed, because this entire wave of negativity is all to push back against a category of videos that doesn't exist, made by creators that don't exist. And I know that sounds absurd, and that's because it is. You've probably at some point or another heard of Minecraft is boring videos, right? Well, for me to explain what's really going on here, we need to start with how that began. What I believe we're seeing employed here is a common manipulation tactic of creating an enemy, one that is easily dislikable. That enemy being the Minecraft is bad videos and the people who make them. Except, of course, that enemy isn't real. So, let's start with the history of all of this. For the longest time, it was nearly unheard of to critique Minecraft in any way, or even make long videos suggesting ways that the game could be seriously improved in some of its core systems. Many people falsely viewed Minecraft as just a sandbox or creative outlet, and nothing more, not even as a game. They thought it was above all other video games, and so couldn't be critiqued like a normal one. A large portion of the community had what is called a harmful love of the game, not being able to recognize its flaws because they like it so much. But then, around after the time of Caves and Cliffs, when Minecraft was going through a bit of a rough stretch, critiques of the game began to get more popular. And as when any type of video starts to get high numbers of views, people noticed. Suddenly, more people started to talk about the game and its flaws and ways that it could improve. Minecraft was finally being critiqued by many as an actual video game, and not as a flawless existence. Except, when people took notice of those first videos getting popular, there were two types of people that decided to go and make their own critiques of the game and discussions for improvement. You had, one, the people who realized, oh yeah, Minecraft isn't above or beyond critiquing in any way, and if we want to improve the game, then we first need to recognize its shortcomings. Those people were motivated by true love for the game. But then, you had the second category of people, motivated by greed. They saw that those types of videos were getting a lot of views and decided to make more of their own in an attempt to mimic their success. And although there were some people that did this, it was still a new era for Minecraft YouTube. Ideas were being discussed like they never had been before. It was truly the Minecraft renaissance, essentially. We entered into a new golden era of critical thinking. It was beautiful, and things were great like that for quite some time. But everything changed when the build supremacists attacked. I'm kidding, that's not what really happened. But yes, genuinely, some people didn't like this new era of discussing ideas and the game's flaws. Why? Well, that's somewhat hard to say, as I certainly can't see into the minds of these people. But it was likely, one, the groups from earlier that thought Minecraft was just above critiquing. Two, many people in the community weren't used to Minecraft being critiqued like an actual video game. So when they saw people talking about its flaws suddenly in mass, they mistakenly interpreted actual critiques and discussions as hate for the game. And this is where that imaginary enemy from earlier comes into play. But before we talk about that, it was also noteworthy that there was somewhat of an oversaturation in this niche. And because of all of these reasons, People in the Minecraft community sort of launched a wave to push back against this golden age. And that is what we are in right now. There have been dozens of videos talking about why Minecraft is boring or Minecraft is bad or Minecraft should be 3D Terraria videos are bad. Except those videos in question don't exist. What I'm seeing is people creating an issue where there is none. No one has been saying Minecraft is bad, no one has been saying Minecraft is boring, and no one has been saying they want Minecraft to be 3D Terraria. Those videos, this enemy that's saying all of these things, they don't exist. 
They are a construct created by the opposing extreme in the community. Really the only video that people will ever cite as a Minecraft is boring video for an example is just Starfish's why Minecraft isn't fun anymore. But even in that video, he doesn't say that Minecraft is boring. He says it can feel boring, which is a different statement and is true for veteran players who come back after some time. In fact, he even ends the video by saying Minecraft is ultimately what you make of it. But in a lot of these pushback videos, they don't talk about what's actually said in that video. They just show the thumbnail because it has the words boring on it and go, Oh yeah, this video is saying Minecraft is boring, even though that's not what he was saying at all. Except, here is the larger issue, and this is why I said this is the largest hate wave that the Minecraft community has ever seen. Because these videos that are supposedly being made to push back against hate and negativity are often more negative and hateful than the videos that they're pushing back against. There have been, for example, several videos now that just say shut up in giant words on the thumbnail. These are videos like Mellow 15s and Dino Knights, for example. And Mellow literally starts his description with saying just play Terraria or something. But these videos are so much worse than critiques or idea sharing. This is a type of video that's just made in an attempt to silence people because you don't like what they're saying. And when you make your thumbnails literally just the words shut up, you're making it very clear that you're just trying to be negative, and also that you're not interested in discussing anything in an important or meaningful way. There's also this video by a YouTuber named Vissers Void titled why minecraft is boring videos are wrong but what minecraft is boring videos are they even talking about the one that they shown the thumbnail is again that jet starfish video because it has the word boring in the thumbnail and i feel like that's a bit dishonest because again jet doesn't actually say minecraft is boring so if these minecraft is bad videos aren't real then what videos do people think they're referring to with this well, I can't say for certain, but my guess is that they're referring to the actual critiques or idea sharing videos. Which is absurd because those videos aren't hateful or negative in any way. There have been really good ones like White Lights and The Geek Factors and Green Jabs. Even Jet Starfish made some pretty good points. I don't doubt that there are probably a few videos out there on YouTube that are saying I hate Minecraft or Minecraft is bad or boring or it should be Terraria, but there are not enough of those videos with high view counts for this to be an actual concern whatsoever. So to put it plainly, a lot of the Minecraft community is currently at war and fighting with thin air. I think the best and also sort of saddest example of this is a video called Minecraft is boring videos be like by a YouTuber named E1OW. I'm not sure how to pronounce that honestly. I could honestly do a whole video just going through this one, but I'm not because I honestly need a break from this stuff. But the video is kind of funny in a really sad way once you realize that this YouTuber is making fun of imaginary people for saying things that no one has ever said. But why are people making these sorts of videos in this pushback wave? Well, I've seen actual good critiques or idea suggestions labeled all the time as hate, even some of my own videos. There's a video by Bull Technology titled, What's with all the Minecraft hate videos, toxic community or lazy developer? I watched it wondering what hate videos he was going to be referring to, and then he just took a lot of genuine criticisms of Minecraft and labeled them, wrote them off as hate. So what, when you make a critique of any other game, that's fine, it's a critique, but when you make a critique of Minecraft, it's hate. The community is toxic in that regard. Making critiques, though, so long as it's done in a respectful manner, is by no means toxic or hateful. But look at these two videos here, just judging off of the thumbnails, which would you say is more hateful, negative, and toxic? If you said the one on the right, then, uh, well, I honestly don't know what's wrong with you, but yes, it's the one on the left.
because I think it goes without saying that telling people to shut up because they're talking about the flaws of a game that you like is pretty hateful and toxic, and definitely more negative than someone going, hey, here's some ideas I have that could make this game better. But it seems for a lot of people now that the default response to what they deem as negativity is to be even more negative than the people they're responding to. But this is all so wrong. Why are we creating enemies? Why are we creating problems where there are none? This is the way that the Minecraft community has changed. This is the way it's toxic now. Not from people suggesting improvements for the game, but from people who can't handle any criticism of the game. This is supposed to be a community, remember? No one is your enemy here. You don't need to tell anyone to shut up. But to be honest, it is my belief that the Minecraft community is always going to be toxic this way, so long as such a large portion of it is build supremacist. It can't be anything else when there are so many people arguing the way you play the game doesn't matter, only the way I do does. So I believe that now more than ever is the time for the community to accept and embrace aspect equality. But alas, that is just a dream of mine, one that I know will likely never exist within the confines of reality. But maybe at least some people will see this video and realize, oh, right, these people aren't my enemy, and that no one in any largely viewed video is saying Minecraft sucks, because hating and critiquing are two very different things, yet people in the Minecraft community seem to use those terms interchangeably, and hopefully one day that won't be the case anymore. But for now, goodbye. I hope to see you in the next one.